Strategies for the beginning art collector. Everybody had to start collecting art at some point in their career, including myself. You know, I had to learn about art, I had to understand the pros and cons, and made mistakes. I hope that today's little video will give you some sensibilities of, as a beginning art collector, what you should look for and maybe not do or do. First of all, when you're buying, it's best if you really understand what you're looking at. If you are interested in art and you think you want to start collecting, take the time, do market research, understand what you're looking at. This will really make things easier and you won't make mistakes. Most mistakes as a beginning art collector occur when they first buy. And I hear it over and over and over again. And quite frankly, I have to handle those situations where they've bought things that they didn't want later on. So if you will just take the time to really understand what you're looking at and a little bit about history and what the price structure should be and also train your own eye. The more art you look at, the better you will get to knowing your own taste. This is very important because if you don't know what you like and dislike, you're just going to make mistakes. And quite frankly, this will change. It always does. It changed with me. As you begin as a beginner and you get more sophisticated and time goes on, your tastes change and you see things differently as you do as when you mature as a human. But beginning at that very first thing that you buy, you should really feel comfortable that A, you know the price is right, B, that it's authentic, and see that you liked it and that you could live with it for a very long time. Now collectors who do do this I found to be very happy in the long term because they started off. When I first started learning about Navajo weavings because I knew I wanted to collect them at this point I really didn't think I was going to sell them but I really wanted to have an in-depth knowledge before I ever bought my first Navajo rug. I spent three years learning about Navajo rugs. This meant I went to galleries, I went to museums, and I talk to other collectors. I understand the intricacies of what a, a Navajo rug was and why it would be a Navajo rug, the values of what they were, and some of the pitfalls that I needed to look for. After I finally decided, yes, I know enough, I, I went and bought. The first day that I went and bought, I bought 17 rugs, and I did it from three different locations, in fact maxed out two credit cards and I knew I was on the right path because I felt confident that I had understood the process, the pricing, and I liked my selections. So it's very important to understand, if you can, what you're looking at. When I have a new collector that comes into my gallery, I often will refer them to book sources or my own internet site like Medicine Man Gallery because we put up content. They don't have to buy something the first time. They just need to understand more about what they're looking at and feel comfortable. So in this first lecture on beginning collector, you need to do market research and feel comfortable with what you're looking at before you ever write the first check.